Hi, and welcome back to myexcelonline.com. Today we are going to go over the substitute function in Microsoft Excel. So first of all, we are going to show you the basic substitute function and different ways that you can use it. Next, we will go over how the replace function differs from the substitute function. And then finally, we will give you a few practical examples for using the substitute function. Also, we will have some additional training options for you at the end of this video, so stick around for that. So for our first example, we are going to use the basic substitute function. And what I am going to do is I'm going to take all the spaces that are in cell A2 and replace them with dashes instead of spaces. So in order to do that, I'm going to click in B2 and type equals substitute with a left parenthesis. And the first argument I will be asked for is what is the text string where I want to do some text substitution? And in this case, it is in cell A2. So I'm going to click on that and then type a comma. And then my next argument is what is the old text or the text that I'm looking to replace? So in double quotes, I'm going to type double quote, space, and then another double quote, and then type a comma. And then my next argument is new text. So this is the new character that I want to appear. So in this case, in double quotes, I'm going to put a dash. So double quote, dash, double quote. And then I'm going to type my final parenthesis and press enter. And now you can see that everywhere I had a space in A2, I now have a dash in B2. So in this case, every space is going to be replaced with a dash. But what if I just wanted the first space over here replaced with the dash? So if I click back in here where I have the substitute function and I click up here inside my final parenthesis up in the formula bar, if I type a comma, I will get an optional fourth argument called instance number. So in this case, if I want to only do one substitution, I'm going to type a one here, and then I'm going to press enter. And now I can see that only one space has been replaced. So by default, substitute will replace all of the instances of the old character with the new character. But if you put a one as the final argument, it will replace only one of them. Or if you have a very long string and you put a two, it would have replaced two of them. If you are liking this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get notified when we release our weekly videos. So for our second example, let's look at how replace differs from substitute. So the replace function works with the position of a character, not the actual text. So if I look at all my phrases over here, I can see that every time the word right appears at the one, two, three, fourth character. And the word right is made up of five characters. So when I use the replace function over here, I'm going to type equals replace with a left parenthesis. And my first argument is what is the old text? So I'm going to click on what's over here in A2. And then if I type a comma, the next argument I'm prompted for is the start number. So I am not looking for text here. I'm looking for a place in my original string. And in this case, I'm going to start at character four. And then if I type a comma, I will be prompted for how many characters do I wish to replace? And in this case, the word right has five characters. So I'm just going to type a five. And then I'm going to type a comma. And the new text that I want in here is instead of putting in right, I'm going to put in the word wrong, but I need to put that in double quotes. So I'm going to type a double quote, the word wrong, a double quote, and then end my parenthesis. And then I'm going to press enter. So I can see that at my fourth position for five letters long, I have changed the word right to the word wrong. So if I click on B2 and I go down here to the right hand corner of my cell where this little square is, and I hover my mouse over it and get this thin cross and drag down, I can see that in every instance, right has been replaced with wrong, but also in every instance, right is my fourth character 
and it's five letters long. That's why this replace function will work. However, if I go to use the substitute function down here, the substitute function will allow me to replace an actual string with another string. So I'm going to type equals substitute with a left parenthesis. And again, just like in our first example, where is the text string that I'm doing the substitution? Well, that's over here in A7. So I'm just going to click on A7, type a comma. So what is the old text or the text that I'm looking to replace? So in this case, in double quotes, I'm going to type right because that is the word that I want to replace. And then I'm going to type a comma. And then what do I want to replace right with? Well, I want to replace it with wrong. So in double quotes, I'm going to type wrong and end my double quotes. And then I'm going to end my parentheses and press enter. And now I can see as wrong as rain. So if I click on here and I hover over this square in the bottom right hand corner and I get this thin cross and I click my left mouse button and drag down, I can see that in the second example, the word right is still here. And that's because when you are using substitute, it is case sensitive. So Excel did not find lowercase r-i-g-h-t over here. So the substitution was not done. And down here, you can see that substitute covers every instance of the word. One more thing I want to show you. If I go up here into B7, right and wrong happen to be the same number of letters. But if I replace wrong up here in double quotes with incorrect and hit enter, I can see that the length of the word does not have to be replaced with the same length of another word. I can have any length of a word and the substitute function will still work. So finally, let's look at a few practical examples of where the substitute function would be really helpful. So if I click in B2, what I would like to do here is I would like to replace my old date format that has slashes in it with a date format that has dashes. So if I type equals substitute with a left parenthesis, when I'm prompted for my text, I'm going to click here in A2, and then I'm going to type a comma. And in double quotes, I'm going to put this slash because this is what I wish to replace. And then I'm going to type a comma. And then in double quotes, I'm going to put a dash because that's what I wish the new character to be. Close my parentheses and hit enter. And I can see that now my dates are in a dashed format instead of a slash format. So for our second example, how about replacing a misspelled word? So if I type in equals substitute with a left parenthesis and I'm looking for the text string, I'm going to click on A6 and then I'm going to type a comma. So for my old text, I'm going to type the way the word was misspelled. So in double quotes, I'm going to type A-Q-U-I-R-E-D and my double quotes and type a comma. And then for my new text, this is going to be the correct spelling. So in double quotes, I'm going to put A-C-Q-U-I-R-E-D and my double quotes and my parentheses and press enter. And now I have corrected my misspelled word. So hopefully that gives you a few different ways that you can use the substitute function in Microsoft Excel. If you would like further explanation for any of these examples that I just showed you, feel free to go to our blog. The link is in the description below on YouTube. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for us and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and see you again next time. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're really serious about advancing your Microsoft Excel skills so you can stand out from the crowd and get the jobs, promotion and pay rises that you deserve, then click up here and join our Academy online course today.